in the acute setting, we are very caught up with discharge planning and we usually become very didactic. So like, um, I think I know what my patients want. So after attending Esther workshop, the main learning point is that um, we need to find a bit more about patient's life um, to know that actually they have a life beyond discharge so that um, we can then work appropriately to achieve those goals um, and equip the caregiver with the necessary skills. I think I'm more client-centered in the sense that um, I, I know them as a person to know what they used to do and what they would like to go back to doing um, post-discharge or even while in the hospital, what is important to them. Because I think sometimes we just work on the basic care like uh, getting them to put on a shirt, shower, but um, that might not be the most important to them. What is important might be maybe getting up to make a cup of coffee because um, coffee is important to this person. A lot of the healthcare professions go up to them and ask them the same questions. Where do you stay? Uh, who do you stay with? Do you have a caregiver? Um, before this admission, were you independent? But I think once somebody goes in and asks them a bit more like, um, what is it that you used to enjoy doing? Then that is where they might share a bit more. And if they're talking, it's not nice to stop them. And sometimes they are so happy they go on and on. I think it will take a bit more time, but um, it makes the session more meaningful. Yeah. It actually started off from the home visit we did during the training session. So after we found out that um, my ex patient was actually mostly homebound um, and the sisters really wanted to take her out on public transport, um, but they didn't know how to. Um, that was when we came up with the idea of then exploring what are the reasons behind the lack of use of public transport with wheelchair-bound Esther's and their caregivers. And there are many reasons behind it. Lah. So one of it was the lack of skills or confidence of caregiver to actually bring Esther on a wheelchair outside. Second is they might not know that the environment is accessible for wheelchair users. Um, thirdly, is some of them might have um, prior bad experiences with public transport. Yeah, so based on what we found out, we decided that within our means, uh, what we could really work on was the lack of skills and confidence of the caregiver. So we went ahead to train two caregivers of wheelchair-bound esters um, in using public transport. And um, post the training, the caregivers actually reported co increased confidence in bringing esters out.